Another week of our kitchen renovation and I am so excited if you couldn't tell because I'm starting this video very hopeful that we are two videos away from being complete with this kitchen. Um, something that you didn't know is that we've been working behind the scenes since the last video. We got a lot of work done, so I need to catch you up. But before that, if you are new here, my husband and I, we are renovating our original 1970s kitchen from the ground up. We completely demo the whole entire thing. We knocked down a wall. We combined two rooms together. We've been building it with our blood, sweat, and tears from scratch for a long time now, but all of the process has been recorded and documented documented here and all of the videos, the playlist, all the YouTube shorts are going to be linked down below so you can catch up, have yourself a little binge watch if you're new here or if you haven't caught up with our weeks, definitely do that. We're going to close this chapter soon uh, and I'm so, so excited. Kitchen cabinets are painted. A sneak peek behind me. Let's go ahead and jump to those clips. So the kitchen cabinets are painted, the colors are on. I do need to do the third coat and the top coat, but I will be doing that off camera because that's boring to see. Like you're just, it's gonna, nothing's gonna change. I'm just gonna look like I'm just moving all over the place, but nothing's changing to you guys, like through the video. But I did wanna show you something that we worked on while you were gone. Do you notice anything different? Anything different at all? Maybe there's a little bit more light in here. Elvis got the kitchen lights all installed and they look so good. So here we have the three pendant lights and the glass. Um, we still have to patch that up. That's a hole that was already there. But the light, you can't really see, it's not focusing. It's like a smoky grayish blue and it has like gold right up here and I love it, the black base. This middle one, you can actually switch it, I think four different modes. You can do bright white, soft white, daylight, and something else, I don't know. So I just decided to do a plain one up here that did its purpose, you know, like it was that light, but it didn't take away from these two. And then the one above the window, oh, I'm like running out of breath because I'm so excited. I hope you can hear the excitement through my voice. We've been beaten down with this kitchen. And this is like, so refreshing to see like when we install the lights and we finally turned them on we were just here just staring at each other and the lights <laughs> you can actually move the lights to point whichever direction that you would like so once we get the lights we'll mess with that and I'm happy that I left it that gold color I think it looks really good and then with the window trim and the backsplash oh my gosh it's gonna look so good I can't I'm so excited but yeah here's the cabinets um the cabinets right now currently have two coats of the paint looking so fresh so clean so beautiful um two coats I'm about to do the third coat right now and then this is the peninsula I only did this side because this side and the front um, I actually need to sand and prime with a different primer that's gonna adhere better to that material they look so good I am so excited when he installed them and we turned these lights on I kid you not we were just here just staring at this kitchen for like 20 minutes just in awe of how good they look how how happy we are and how proud we are that we've made it this far and how close we are to finishing this kitchen if you cannot hear by my voice of excitement and me talking like I'm at a hundred miles per hour I, I don't know I don't know what to tell you I'm so happy I have a hard time making decisions but I am happy with these the pendant lights are beautiful they're the perfect size they're like everything I wanted everything just looks so good together I'm so happy the middle one I wanted to leave it very plain not the statement I didn't really want to draw a lot of attention to it because I wanted the pendant lights to be the main focus when you walk into the room as well as the light above the window which I'm so excited to see that with the trim, with the backsplash, we're almost there. And Elvis really did took one for the team because these lights 
were not configured to be here. So he had to like drill the holes, do the wiring, completely do it from scratch. And he did so good. And he also fixed all of the electrical that was wrongly installed prior to us being here. We just got back from countertop shopping, which let me say, procrastinated this step, which if you are renovating your own space, this is something you do not want to procrastinate because countertops need to be ordered. You gotta shop around. <laughs> if you want certain types of countertops, they gotta be specially cut with certain, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. We just got back, I think, I think we found a solution, which I'm gonna keep that a secret because um, I think we got countertops secured to be installed. I don't wanna tell you too early and then something falls. Hopefully not, because I think we found the most perfect countertops. Um, and Elvis right now is at the store because the Kitchen Peninsula is gonna have a whole different countertop than that one behind me. So let's play a little game. Comment down below, what do you think we're doing? We're gonna have two different types of countertops essentially, so. I'm excited, I'm excited. So this is what's on the to-do list this week, okay? Then I'm gonna go because I gotta work. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do this week, okay? I'm gonna finish the cabinets. I'm gonna do the third coat, the top coat of these bases. Then I'm gonna install all of the doors, soft close hinges on the doors, on the drawers, uh, the knobs and the pulls. I'm gonna do all of that. Elvis is going to do baseboards, the crown molding around the ceiling, the trim around the door and the window, and the countertop for the kitchen peninsula. If we are able to do that this week, all we have left to do is floor, which is pretty easy, backsplash, and bring in the appliances, and we're done with the kitchen. Like, we're done. I cannot believe we're finally Finally here, like we've made it. So with all of that being said, I need to go, I need to go work, I need to do the third coat, I need to do the top coat. We have a goal, a timeline to reach. We are so close. All right, so the peninsula on this side is all primed. The freaking paint smells so bad, I used the bin shellac based primer it smells so bad i probably should have wore a mask but it's all primed i'm gonna let it dry overnight and then i'll paint the color the lights just came in for the fixture above the window so we're gonna install those and see how that looks the lights is in and it's beautiful look at that yeah we had to get these special light bulbs that just like suction cup into there and clip in. I don't know how to, I mean, it looks nice. Looks so good. I want the trim here. It's gonna look so nice and the backsplash. So all the lights officially are installed except the one here in the dining room. I feel like that one's gonna have to wait till we get a table in here and then we'll decide. That one's gonna be like, the kitchen's gonna be done. The kitchen's important. Oh, look at that. It looks like a real kitchen now. to install the crown molding. We are, I don't know why I spoke with a country accent, but I did. We're about to get these crown molding here, dog, right now. <laughs> Titus loves, he's loving the tanning outside. I was not <laughs> supposed to uh, be part of this task, but here we are. That's not true. It takes two people for this. Yeah, well, you didn't make it seem like it did. Hello, Paul, I got your phone, come check over my mouth, come check over on your boob. So now I'm stuck here. You're gonna have to lower that blue one a little bit. We still have one more hard thing that we gotta do that we didn't think about. Bringing the fridge and the stove in here. <laughs> no, that's nothing, bro. What For me? Can you can have somebody help you so I don't have to help you? What do you, you don't have to carry it. We can roll it in with the freaking dolly. The one that we, the she. No, the do, an actual dolly, like the moving uh, dolly. I was thinking that's gonna be hard. I don't need this. Yeah, says. What do you do? It doesn't. <laughs> I know you're not serious right now. <laughs> it does not go like that. Well, I'm following your lead, mister. I'm not. That's not my lead. Ain't nobody did that but you. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like it was always meant to be here, Elvis. Oh. What'd you do? Huh? I need me a little drinky drink. Ugh. 
Now this is so this hard. is the hard part. This corner here, bro. I'm gonna have to get something to push it up in there because I can't reach the freaking thing. And it's bent. Ah. Oh. Coconut soda is so good. Huh? All right, let me go ahead and help you out. Why is that? I'm gonna get the brad nailer. This thing's got too much power. It's just... Well, that's not a brad nailer? This is a finish nailer. What is the difference? They look the same. 16 gauge, 18 gauge. Ow! I managed to hurt myself right here. Man, my hands hurt. Almost done, dude. I'm about to let go and I don't care if it falls. Okay, so the trim around the window is installed. I also did the little fill stick around all of the holes. So they're all filled in. And then I have to do the caulking around the window and the little corners right here. So the window is good. It's kind of hard to tell, like see it full without it being painted, but you can kind of get a little bit of a what it's gonna look like. And then the trim around this door is up. And I'm also done painting the kitchen peninsula, all of the coats, so that's done. So officially all of the cabinets are painted. And then, ta-da! This is the countertop that we are gonna be using for the peninsula. It is so pretty, it is the Allen and Roth. It's the Chevron Butcher Block, but this is gonna be the Statement Peninsula. Dun, 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 dun. Um, it's not fitted, it is not installed. That is all Elvis to figure out. <laughs> But it's there. We needed to see how it's gonna look with everything. Like we needed to get a visual. Can you get out of the people's way, boy? We needed to get a visual of how things were gonna look. The countertop that we're gonna do in the back, we are actually hiring it out for the first time. We're gonna get some help with this kitchen renovation. Um, that's gonna get installed in the next few days. And we chose to do, I guess I'm gonna leave that a surprise. So you can come back and see what we chose. But this is going to be the peninsula. I love it, it's so pretty. We're gonna keep it this color, but we're gonna obviously seal it and do all the all that good stuff. So Elvis right now is working on the crown molding. I aborted the mission because he needed to figure out quite a few things. So he's still working on that. We got an idea of what this is gonna look like and then all of the trim is up over here. So um, I do need to paint the trim, but I'm not gonna do that till the crown molding is installed. Look at our kitchen so far, guys. I just keep coming in here and just staring at it. I actually went shopping yesterday. I told myself that I wasn't gonna go shopping for the kitchen and stuff like that until we were like super close to being done. And because we are on track to finishing very, very soon, I rewarded myself and I went shopping and I got a bunch of the new things for the kitchen. And that just makes me so happy because when we first moved into this house, it was very traumatic um, and we went through a lot of life changes. That on top of like having our kitchen look and be the way it was, it was really discouraging. I didn't buy a single thing to decorate the kitchen, anything to make it feel like home because I didn't want, I didn't like that kitchen. It was not functional and it was just very dark in there and closed off. Uh, if you guys want to haul, of what I got for the kitchen, let me know in the comments and I'll include it in the next video. But yeah, once Elvis figures out the crown molding, we'll get the ball rolling. I just did all of the caulking on the window. So it's all ready for paint. All of the holes are filled in and the caulking is on. I also did the caulking around this door frame. The holes are all done and patched up. And this trim on this door is also filled and caulked. So that is officially done. And then Elvis right now is working on finishing all of the crown molding, which, dun, 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 dun. It is in all the crown molding and the ceiling, almost complete. It's gonna be a billion holes to fill. No, it's done properly. <laughs> and um, caulked, but- right. um, It was done right this time. So all these holes are normal. But yeah, it looks really good. It actually like looks super, super, super good. That crown molding looks really good with the room. 
trim is ready for paint. I'm gonna have to do that very soon. I was waiting for Elvis to get done with the crown molding because then I could just, while I have the paint out, I could do the crown molding and then I could do the trim. We gotta, we gotta work smarter, not harder, you know what I'm saying? I was going to drill the holes for the cabinet doors where's that template i bought this template so i can drill the holes for the cabinet doors for the knobs and the pools i didn't get around to doing that so i'm gonna have to do this next week um because it's already friday and i messed up big time but i'm not even gonna talk about my big mess up <laughs> i'm working over the weekend to fix it basically uh it does have to do with the cabinets but we're not gonna go there so that's gonna have to be next week um and the doors honestly i rather have all of the doors out while the countertops are being installed so they don't get nicked up or anything so they're safely put away we'll put the doors once the counters are in once this one's in once those counters are in we will uh, install the doors and that's going to be easy uh to do i can't get over the lights that look so good they look so good. I'm like, just gonna, we I'll should have a sleepover. By, I'll be done by noon. Yeah, right. Dude, that quantum, yeah, Elvis said he was gonna be done by noon that today. That like two hours, dude. I got. And at what time is it, like three? <laughs> yeah, see, all three, yeah, three o'clock. three o'clock. Yeah, that corner wasted two hours. I still wouldn't have been done by noon, but that corner literally wasted so much of my time. Looks, I twisted the looking good. Holding. All right, Elvis done did it. He done did it. He done did it now. He installed the crown molding in all of the room, which this is all one room now, but look at that. We still have to fill in the holes and do the caulking, but ooh, in the corners, you know, in the corners. You know we gotta give it that and paint it. We gotta paint, but you know what? It's up. The hard part is done. The easy part is to paint, fill the holes and all that stuff. Now Elvis is doing, baseboards. now he's doing baseboards. So mm. baseboards are up next. Um, he said he's gonna install them today, we'll see. They say to do the floor. Oh, did you put the floor there? They say to do the floor first, so that way you can have a flush baseboard. So I'm just putting panels of the floor down. So Elvis is putting a few planks on the floor to kind of give him an idea where to put the baseboards in because typically you wanna put the planks first but we're not gonna do that, so he's doing it. This way he works just fine. This mess has been accumulated. I need to clean that up, but that's gonna be another problem for another day. I just can't stop staring at this because guys, look at this. The rest of our house looks bad now because it doesn't have crumb molding. We've elevated this room too much. We've elevated the room too much. You gotta do crumb molding on the rest of the house. And take popcorn. <laughs> yeah, and it looks good without the popcorn ceiling. It looks so good. All right, the baseboards are almost in. All the way, Elvis is working on this side. Let me bring you around because it's a little messy over here. So he's working on this side. Then he has that corner to do. And yeah, they're done over here and over there. He just has like a tiny bit to go. And then he's also gonna put baseboards along right here in the bottom of the peninsula. So he's gonna bring it like this. And then around, needs a little piece of baseboard right here. He got this one done. And then this one over here needs some. This is what we're gonna close out for the week. All of the baseboards are in, except right here on the um, peninsula. The island's painted, lights are in. Let me see, crown molding is in. Um, so I think next week, we're gonna get the back countertops installed. These installed. Um, and then trim painted, hopefully backsplash. I don't know, that might be a little, I don't know. But, dun dun dun, I'm gonna leave you here. Come back next week to see if we can finish the kitchen.